There has been a murder in this game by hot girls with broken legs and we will space to interrogate. Because that's the name of the game. Based on the mechanics of space to investigate, let's find out who did the murder. Smile. Who did this? Alright, lady, did you do this? Oh, yes, I know who that is. That's Mr. Charles, the master of the manor. Please, I had nothing to do with this. Sure, we had our differences, but I would never kill anything. Oh, yeah? Well, that's all I got for now. I'll remember that face. Yep, that's her. Hey, you know who that is? I have no idea. Maid. She was just hired by the estate about six months ago. And who's that? Poor fellow. Too bad he had to die, huh? What's this world coming to? See what you can get out of those three. I'm sure something won't add up. Huh. Oh, there's more people. There's this person. And there's this person. Let's find out who they are. Hey, buddy. Who's that? Wife of a deceased. Oh, okay, that's it. What about this guy? The old butler. He's been around for years. Well, that's fascinating. You know what? Let's go back to a crime scene. And take some more photos. Uh, what do we do? What are we gonna look at? Um, hmm. Calendar. Yuff. What else? Oh, nice plant. And, uh, cool bear. Hey, more plants. Ooh, check out those windows. Check out that thing. Uh, ooh. I wonder what that was. Some drink. And uh, what are these flowers doing here? And uh, I guess maybe... What about these books? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, rope. Maybe. And then we have... All these animals. Hey, there's a gun missing. Alright. With that, let's see if we can assemble some motive. Alright, first of all, tell me about the others. Oh, that's the mistress of the house. Must be awfully sad. But then again... Sorry, I just... She was always alone, you know. I just wonder if she'd had it. Oh, uh, that's a butler. Hey, I'm not trying to be a snitch or anything, but I think the master fired him last week. What about this calendar? Looks like a calendar. Oh yeah, the master was always gone on some business trip or other, always leaving the mistress alone. Felt up to me to keep her company, make her feel like she had someone, some companionship. That's nice, but let's get back to business. Oh, I know these, I know this one. That's an orchid, the mistress created that one all by herself. Says it's special. In what way? Is that the murder? Uh, I don't... Oh, plant. Ah, those are the mistress's plants. 
She spent most of her time alone in the greenhouse, especially since Master was always off on his business trips. Really, I probably spent more time with her. Those windows are so big, anyone could look inside. They could probably see everything, if only somebody did. What about the gardener? Big light, huh? Yeah, okay, great comment, huh? I don't know anything about that cup. Well, okay, it was the master's favorite. But it's a butler who served him his wife's tea every night. Hey, what about these? Oh, that's a dead orchid. Don't see what that has to do with it, me. These orchids were the mistress's special creation. The master read a lot. He was either away for work or in his study reading, or outside, killing. Oh, that's a rope. That's from the mistress's gardening kit. I only know that because... Oh, I've just seen it around. Used for what? Huh. What a horrific display. If you ask me... Oh, I just think this type of thing should be stopped. You know, legally. What about... Whatever this is. Oh, guns. Ha. Huh. I hadn't noticed that gun missing before. What? I didn't take it, if that's what you're thinking. Well, I'll be coming back for you, maybe. Alright. What you gotta say about these guns? Oh, I uh, don't know who'd take a gun off that wall. Don't you? Master had some good seasons under his belt. I taught him to hunt, I did. Come to think of it, that little maid had quite a few thoughts about it herself. Alright, let's get to this rope. That's some gardening rope. You could do a lot with a bit of rope like that. Quite a lot. How do you mean? What about these books? Master had quite an appetite for knowledge, sport and travel. Oh, that's it? Okay. Plants. Let's talk plants. The mistress's orchids. I seen her greenhouse, got all types of strange equipment in there, not just pots and soil. What you mean? Say, that there's the cup of the house. Served him tea every night. Usually something original from the mistresses liked to make it herself. From a missus. <sighs> Why do I keep saying mistress? Okay. That there chandelier is older than that manor and all of its inhabitants. Master found it on one of his trips. Like, what? In the, in the woods? In the jungle? What? Gorgeous view. Out on the manor grounds is where I taught the master their hunt. What about this plant? Oh, that's just a bunch of plants. The missus was pretty fanatical about them. Always making new ones, always trying out different concoctions with them. So suspicious. Some little flower of the miss... Uh, Mrs. She liked to invent new ones, made tea from them. Too flowery for me. Master's calendar. He had more days away than he had home. Always leaving the Mrs. alone with that young maid as her only companion. Dot, 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 dot. What do you mean? That would be me. Really spot on detective work right there. Uh, none of that sarcasm, please. Mistress of the house, always alone, waiting for the master to come home. Except she was spending plenty of time with that maid. Must have needed the company. Say, so I wonder if she just couldn't take it anymore. Huh? Oh, er, uh, that's the maid. Been around since the missus hired her. Got along together just as well. Not sure she fancied the master all that much, though. Always arguing about animal rights, doohickey. So, the missus hired her, he says. That's the man of the house. 
real shame. Known him since he was a kid, I did. Listen, I ain't done nothing wrong. If you ask me, you should be talking to that maid. Heard her just the other day spouting off about them dead animals and whatnot. Alright, enough of that. I forgot, did you say anything about the mistress? Uh, I wonder if she, yeah, you did about yourself? That's me! Okay. Just checking. Just making sure. What do you got to say? You sure you've got enough evidence to bring them down? You only get one shot. You sure? Okay, he just says the same thing. Alright, miss... Who's that? That's my dear, my Charles, my love. I'm sorry you don't think I did this, do you? If anything, talk to the butler. Charles fired him just two days ago. I'll get to that. Oh, her. That's our new maid. Of course Charles always made sure to hire the pretty ones. So you're saying he hired her? But the butler said you hired her. That's me. Is this a joke? Am I... Does this look like a joke? Am I a joke? Okay, to the butler. That's the manor's butler. He's been working for the house for over 20 years. Shame he had to be let go, no? Charles' business dealings were not panning out so well this year. Oh, that's Charles' schedule. Almost a fluke he'd die here in his own home. I always thought it would happen in some far-off country. Well, that's just mathematics, given how often he was gone. Oh, mm, that's an orchid, yes. Charles and I developed that varietal together. Beautiful, isn't it? What do you mean? He doesn't have... We used to spend so much time together. Wh what? No, you, you did not. Oh, you used to. Hmm. Okay. Because uh, you told me that he never was at home. Ah, Charles and I just love to propagate plants. Those were some of our favorites. What about these windows? Charles enjoyed the view from these windows so very much. I guess that's it. Oh, well, that's just a chandelier. Okay. What about this cup? Oh, ah, uh, that's a goblet with the family seal on it. Charles' favorite tea. He never drank out of anything else. The butler served him at the same time every evening. His favorite tea? I was told you come up with new stuff all the time. Oh, a dead orchid. Not sure why those are there, to be honest. Well, Charles loved to read. He did always have a stack of books on his desk. Oh, huh. Strange. Don't know why a rope like that would be in the study. Must be from Charles' hunting gear. I have good intel that this is yours, miss. From someone who's been around for over 20 or was it 30 years? And from somebody who might have been tied up with this. What you gotta say about that, huh? The silent treatment. Okay. Are these the murders? Does that make sense? Are my notes reasonable? More of Charles hunting spoils. Okay. What? The guns, right? Oh, that's odd. I don't know why a gun would have been taken from that wall. I mean, you don't think... Please, just look at me. You think I'm strong enough to carry a cannon like that? Oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. Alright, we're done. I feel like I cracked the case. It was her! She loved the new maid. She hated her husband. She was worried that the maid would be next to be kicked out of the house. And she would be all alone again. It's time to in... It's time to in...
incarcerate. That's what I wanted to say. We cannot incarcerate the master of the house. The question is, who did it? And we got this photo, we got that photo, we got this photo. Oh, 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 oh. Well, yes. It was the mistress. And she... She used the flower that they grew. And she used the one that was deadly. And it, she put it in the tea. The mistress was it. I am so sure of it. The details were laid bare for the world to see. A crime of passion, plain and simple. The mistress of the house and her maid had been lovers for quite some time, until one day, home unexpectedly from a business trip cut short, the master had found out. It was only a matter of time. For a divorce? She couldn't let her life be defined by this man and his neglect anymore. She had to take matters into her own hands. An orchid so exotic it killed, a passion so inflamed she'd kill for it. A passion for inheritance? You couldn't help but wonder if she'd been right, if she deserved to be happy and the man deserved to die. Huh. We solved the case, we sure did. We crickety crackety cracked the case. And now, let's find the other possible endings to this game, because there are multiple. So we can accuse right from the get-go, but only the people we made photos of, which is pretty cool. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope, not gonna do that. Instead, let's look what happens when we try to blame the wife without any evidence. Hey, what's this? It's a good thing you dropped out of art school. Meanie. There's nothing in this picture. Okay, whatever. You don't see it, but I know what it is. And you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna see what happens if I blame her for the crime. The mistress with no evidence at all. Let us see what happens. It all made perfect sense. The wife did it. You were certain. As per your recommendation, the district attorney's office pressed charges, but fate seems to have turned its back on you as you watched the woman walk free. The jury just wasn't convinced. You hadn't built a good enough case. So that's ending number two. Now what if we were to decide that the butler did it? Can we find the right evidence for this kind of case? Let's see. Guns. The butler taught him guns. Finances might always be important. There is yet another gun over here and there is a fire, a roaring fire that might have something to do with it. Why is there a bell here? And who is this portrait of? Could it be the butler? Does the literature have anything to do with it? And what about the outside? What is this white thing on the floor? Looks like a glove. I'm just taking this with me. And just in case, the animals. Now I noticed when you are in this accusation or incarceration screen, you have these photos on the outside. There, there, and there, but not now. So let's start asking questions. Alright, so what can you tell me about this gun? Sir, Master's hunting rifle, you say. He brought that back from another one of his trips. Good, good. What about this freaking huge fire? That's the grand fireplace. Many a night did I light that hearth. Too big for the others to handle. Took a special touch. Hmm, what is that photo of? Oh yeah, the belt. That's a belt. Don't know why it's there. About that portrait on the wall. Me and the master. Damn shame. Knowed him since I was a kid. Gotta believe me. Loved him like he... he loved him like he was my own son. I gotta get on top of this accent. Uh, whatever, dialect. 
Master had quite an appetite, and uh, you already talked about yeah, gorgeous view out on the manor's grounds is where I taught the master to hunt. And uh, master had some good seasons under his belt. I taught him to hunt. I did come to think of it, that little maid had quite a few thoughts about it herself. What about this? Oh, er, uh, that's me glove. I'm very meticulous though. Don't think that should have been in there. Must have dropped it on my way out, if you say so. Hey, what you gotta say about this glove? Butler's glove, I'd wager. Seems it should have been in the servants' quarters, don't you think? You ever seen a glove as white as that? Tell me something about this portrait. I hear the butler practically raised the guy since childhood. What about uh, this belt? Strange belt, huh? What about this fire? Man, what a fireplace. Whoever saw a fireplace this big? You ever seen one this large? Oh, you, you have really good commentary, dude. You ever seen a gun so big as that before? I sure ain't. Just got this little pea shooter on my hip. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Don't get me wrong. It's a hot little heater. Just ain't particularly big. Alright. Mm, looks like uh, business trips were cut a little short, huh? Poor guy. Funny thing, though, we looked into his finances. Turns out he wasn't doing so well. Probably had to start making some cutbacks if he knew anything about anything. Okay, what's that? Um, gun? We never found that gun, even after searching the premises. So how do you get rid of a gun? Well, you could take it with you, or at least part of it. Don't know who'd take a gun off that wall. You could. That's the grand fireplace. Many a night did I light that hearth. Too big for the others to handle. Took a special touch. Or you could burn some of the old gun. So maybe he did it. Let's see. Does the uh, interface here tell me that I have a case already? Is this how this game works? No. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's just ask everybody about everything else. Oh, that's a glove for the house official uniform. It would be the butler's. I wonder why that was in the study. The butler and Charles. The butler practically raised Charles since he was a kid. I'm sure he must have been upset after we fired him. Hmm. Just seems uh, like a bell to me. Come to think of it. I don't remember Charles having a belt like that. Aha. Uh -huh. the fire. What? That's just the ground fireplace. One of the better looking features of the manor. What about the gun? Oh well, Charles used that for hunting. Alright, tell me about this gun, please. Yuck, that thing shouldn't even exist. I'm telling you, I think it's just evil. Okay, what about the fire? That fireplace would look great without a death machine hanging above it, don't you think? You are obsessed, lady. The belt? Oh, that's a belt? Yes? Is that all? Hmm, that's the butler and the master, together. Apparently, they go way back. Shame. After all that time devoted to one place only to just be axed like that. Axed, you say? What about that glove of his? Butler's glove. I know that one too. What was it doing in the study? That's what I'm trying to find out. Alright, that's all I got. Just in case we need to get a little more evidence. After all, maybe the butler did it. With the tea. Well, we have the plant and the cup here. I don't know if this is gonna work out, but I think the butler did it. I think we got a lot of evidence against him. Let's give this a shot. Like he might have given a shot. There was no way it wasn't this man. The butler had every reason to kill the master of the house. And you had every bit of evidence you needed for a conviction. Did I though? You watched the trial unfold. Watched him stare blankly as his sentence was read. Imagined his misery as he spent the rest of his life in prison. But even after all this time, you think about the butler and the case, and you can't help but wonder, was it really as clear as you had thought it was? 
Did you put a murderer behind bars or did you destroy an innocent man's life? Bam! Another ending. Alright, and now let's see what happens if we accuse him without any good reason. The butler seemed to have guilt written all over his face. After submitting your evidence with confidence, the district attorney's office moved forward with a murder charge. You watch in horror as the jury decides it against a conviction. Lack of evidence? What is the world even coming to? Oh yes, it is the world that is at fault and not my work, of course not. Finally, our focus is on the maid and it probably has to do something with those animals and those guns. Maybe the travels. Maybe this gun as well, maybe how she doesn't like the gun above the fire. The belt? Well, probably not, but just in case. Oh, and this one, this little bear, very likely involved. Books, maybe? This could have been the murder uh, tool, after all. Just gonna take this with me just in case. And maybe the connection to the wife, the red string connecting the two. So what do you think of this bear? Ugh, that's a sacred creature. It's wrong what we do to them. What did you say about the animals on the wall again? Huh, what a horrific display. If you ask me, Oh, I just think this type of thing should be stopped, you know, with any means possible. Huh. Do you have anything to say about this bear? Master always talked about that one. Quite the conquest, he said. Don't mention it to that maid, though. Gets upset over dead animals, she does. Upset enough to kill Mr. Butler? What do you gotta say about that bear? Something awesome? I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Yeah, great buddy, great. You are clearly on break, dude. You are clearly on break, alright. At least he's speaking his mind. He tells it like it is. Vote. Police officer. Who are you, by the way? Who are you, man? That's one mean police captain right there. Oh, police captain. Honestly. And who is that? Seriously, who is this? One of the best goddamn officers I've ever worked with. Why? What about, what about yourself? That's me. Okay, okay, at least you know what you are. Well, what do you think about this guy? That's the jerk who grabbed me off the streets and brought me here. What does this guy have to say about it? That's the man that brought me in here. Not the polite type, I'll say. What about this guy? That there's the police captain man. Bit uptight. In it. In it. In it. He didn't say in it, but I, I pretend that he is saying that. Alright, lady. That's a police captain. Okay. That's the wretched man who took me from the streets like a common criminal. You uncommon criminal. What do you gotta say about the rug? The big rug. Charles was particularly proud of that one. He did love to hunt. Did he love you, though? Did he? Who hurt you? Well, I think I've had enough. I think I've heard enough. I think I know enough to get her behind bars for the rest of her life. The maid. You thought you had her. It all made perfect sense. The maid did it. At the time, there just wasn't any doubt in your mind. But somehow, even after her conviction, even after she was sentenced to spend the rest of her life behind bars, you found yourself questioning your own case. Had you really made the right decision? Apparently not, because the mistress ending is the only one that doesn't make you wonder. The missus did it. And now let's just quickly try out what happens when you uh, accuse the maid without any ground. So what do you think? 
who was it or do you think it was uh, suicide let us know in the comments the district attorney's office built a case on the evidence you submitted which is nulch and formally pressed murder charges certain the maid was guilty you watched in shock as the conviction fell apart due to lack of evidence but look at my zero photos look at all the non-evidence that i have given you very impressive took a while to feel confident enough that i had all the evidence on my first attempts but after a while i had a good control over what items are in the room and the style is just great i do like how it is kind of simpler or how there's less backtracking than in space to investigate and boy the audio is just great i will see you next time ciao